Hello there, welcome back to this new tutorial video. In this video, we are going to learn about RLS or role level security in Power BI. We will also learn about different types of RLS, which is static and dynamic RLS in Power BI. So, RLS in Power BI is a feature that limits data access for users based on their roles. It is actually a data governance tool that helps organizations to protect their sensitive information and comply with the privacy regulations that they have. As the name impri implies, RLS applies filters to data at the role level. And the filters are defined based on the user roles. So let's get started with the video and see what this RLS is and how to implement it in Power BI dashboards. So here I'm having a simple, simple sales dashboard. I will show you the data modeling as well. I'm having an orders table, a returns table and the date table. This is my orders table. And now let's learn about the difference between the static and dynamic RLS. In static RLS, what I can do is I can create a new role and to that new role, what I will do is I will give a particular designation or a particular filter. So here, for example, if you want to create roles, you just have to switch to this modeling tab and then clear, create on manage, click on manage roles and click on new and I will name it as static RLS. Now you can apply the filter on whatever table you want. So for example, here what I want is I want to get or I want to only see the data for the state of New York. So here in order table, I will go in and I will click on this two filter and you, you have this option to select the column name. So here I will select state or province which equals to New York and I will hit on save. So our role has been applied successfully. I will just close it and you can go to view as and click on static RLS and click on OK. You will only see the data for New York. So this is how it functions. Now I will stop viewing this. So it will again come to its original form. So in this way, what you can do is you can create different roles for different states. But if I'm having hundreds or two hundreds or even thousands of states or any other column, so I can't keep on making new roles for each of them. So here, the role of dynamic RLS comes to play. So in order to create a dynamic RLS, the most important thing is you need to have a mapping table for that. For example, here for this orders table, I'm having a user mapping table. And here I'm having this list of the users and their states. So whatever user would be logged to their Power BI, the Power BI will automatically fetch its user ID. And based on the user mapping assigned in the user mapping table, it will only show the data for this particular state to that particular user. So let's create a dynamic RLS now. So you can manage roles, create a new role, name it as dynamic RLS. Click on user mapping, click on new, let's select the user ID. Let's switch to the DAX editor and the user ID will be equal to user principal name. So this is the very important DAX which is used in almost all of RLS. What it will do is it will directly fetch the user ID or the email ID of the user who has logged in to the Power BI. And based on that, it will show only that pertaining data to the user. I will save this RLS. So it hasn't successfully applied. I will click on close. And let's see our data modeling now. So you can see this is our orders table and this is the user mapping table. But there is no any relationship between these two tables. So we'll have to create that relationship. What I will do is I will just 
create a relationship between state so it will be many to one relationship I will save the changes so our relationship has been established now now what I will do is I will go to view as then I will go to this dynamic ARLS and you also have to click on this other user wherein you can test so I will write the email id xyz at the rate dataminds.com I will click on ok so you can see this particular user is only having access of new order. and when you will also go to the orders table here also you will be seeing that the data only for New York has been automatically filtered based on the relationship. So in state or province, you will see there is only New York. There are no other states. So here we have filtered data only pertaining to New York for this particular user. Let's click on stop viewing now. And again, if I'm going to my data view, I will have my other states as well now. Let's test with the other users as well. So the other other username is hij at the rate dataminds.com. We'll go to home. We'll go to view as. And then I will go to dynamic role. I will click on other users. And here I will click hij at the rate dataminds.com. And if I'm selecting OK, you will see only that particular data has been filtered out. And this particular user will only be able to see data for the state of Texas. So in orders table, when I'm going over here, in state or province, I will only have in Texas and nothing else. Similarly, on my dashboard also, if I am going over here, I will only have the data for Texas. So in this way, you can apply static as well as dynamic RLS. Mostly in industries, dynamic RLS are used. And if you want to implement dynamic RLS, you need to have a user mapping table for that particular RLS. Let's stop doing this. So I hope you have understood how to create the static and a dynamic RLS and how to implement it in Power BI. If you really learn something new from this video do like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts or if you feel like i should make videos on some other topics do suggest those topics in the comment section and share your thoughts thank you very much for watching the video